Hi, thanks for joining us for a description and a taste test of a San Marzano tomato. These San Marzanos are a plum-like tomato or aroma tomato. This one is actually a little bit uh, on the smaller um, size from what I've been getting this year, but I wanted to show this one to you. Um, I do have a, quite a good sized batch of these right now, and I'm going to be making some spaghetti sauce, which is why I chose a smaller one to cut for this tomato uh, taste test. You'll notice this one has just a little bit of blossom rot on the bottom. Uh, I believe that was just uh, the result of uh, kind of some uneven watering that we got towards the end of our season here in Colorado this year. It's September. We got some uh, two days of, of kind of slow, drizzly Seattle-like rains where it soaked the ground really well. And I have noticed that some tomatoes in the gardens late season either have split and cracked a little bit, or in this case, just a little bit of blossom rot right there, but nothing, uh, nothing too extreme. I will preface that this is the first year that I've grown the San Marzano tomatoes. These are an heirloom variety. Uh, they are from a specific region in Italy. Um, they are very famous. Um, they, uh, the purists that grow these tomatoes say that really you can only have a true San Marzano tomato if it's grown in a certain region of Italy, basically in volcanic soil uh, with a certain pH level. I know here in Colorado, our pH levels vary between about 7.0 to about 7.5. Uh, I'm not sure what that specific pH level in Italy is, but nonetheless, this was the first year uh, I've grown these, and I will say I've been very pleased. Very productive tomato uh, in a year that generally was not a good year for growing anything in the garden, uh, much less tomatoes. I had two of these plants, and they did not disappoint. They produced uh, fairly early and often, so... I got a little critter grown on there, but uh, these these tomatoes have been wonderful. They are a sauce tomato, um, so this is not one that you probably want to put into uh, on your sandwiches. And, and you'll see in a minute when we cut this open uh, why they are such, in my opinion, a wonderful sauce tomato. With two plants uh, producing fairly well, I've made several batches of spaghetti sauce with these and it does have a very nice flavor. So if you like making sauce with your tomatoes, I would highly recommend the San Marzano tomato. Not only for its productivity, uh, but also just in general has been a great producer and one that I uh, am ex excited to grow again in future years when, when we don't have uh, overall bad growing season to see what they do in, in a normal season. I just can't imagine the amount of productivity that these tomatoes uh, would, would have. I will describe the plants to you. Uh, both of them grew up to about three and a half, four feet tall, but just loaded up uh, with these um, pear-shaped fruit. And we'll cut this open in a minute and, and taste it, but just a beautiful fruit and wonderful for, uh, for sauce making. So I'm gonna cut this down the middle, I'll give you a look at what you're looking like. Very familiar to uh, a Roma tomato. Now I will say I've struggled with growing Roma varieties um, in the past, and that was one of the reasons why I wanted to try this San Marzano. Uh, this one outproduced by far any of the Roma tomatoes. And this is, a, like I said, a smaller one, but I've had uh, these in the same shape, approaching four and a half, five inches long, uh, just looking just like that, beautiful on the inside, not a lot of seeds, and what you, exactly what do you ex expect from a sauce tomato. So I'm gonna cut one of these again. You can see not a lot of uh, seeds in there, and let's go ahead and give this a bite for flavor, just to describe what you're looking at here. And could, could, could I have left this on the vine another day or two? I sure could have. You'll notice it's not a deep red. They will uh, get deep red. But for sauce making purposes, when they look about uh, like this color, uh, that's, that's uh, generally a good time to go through the blanching process and, and go ahead and, and um, make sauce out of these. So let me go ahead and taste this. 
very nice flavor. Very nice uh, tomato flavor. If you like uh, Roma tomatoes, and maybe you live in an area where Roma tomatoes grow well, um, I, I prefer the flavor to these over the Roma. Uh, I'd say about a, a, a medium uh, on the acidity, not a, an overly acidic tomato. Um, but because of the thick walls on the inside there, um, these just, they are great um, for making sauce out of or whatever you like to do with your Roma tomatoes. You could definitely throw these in a salad, um, but with so many different actual salad varieties of tomato, I would personally save these for something else, but very productive, very happy with the San Marzano, looking forward to growing it again in future years. Um, and for my part, I would highly recommend this heirloom variety, uh, San Marzano tomato. Hope that answers your questions. If you do have any additional questions or comments, please leave them below. Happy to address those. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon.